YouTube boss Rino. welcome to my channel. So ito, 5 mysterious creatures caught on camera. So ito ay uh, Nox Top 5, ang old school, ang old video ng Nox Top 5. Huwag natin patagalin ito. O dahil natakot na ako noong una eh. Na jump scare ako dun eh. So ito, tirahin natin ito bago patarahin na iba. The Top 5 Mysterious Creatures Caught on Tape The Wessex Way Monster The Wessex Way Monster has become a local legend in some parts of England. One dark night late in 2007, a closed circuit traffic camera caught a very strange and unexplainable creature crossing the road. This video, there have been multiple reports of the strange Wessex Way monster. As you can see in the video, the so-called Wessex Way monster displays characteristics that are both animal and human. It runs on four legs like an animal, but has notably longer back legs than front legs, which seem to bend at the knee like a human being. So, what do you think? Is this some strange creature, or just an elaborate hoax? Let me know in the comments. The 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 Central and South America. All across the globe, there are myths and legends about tiny humanoid creatures that live among us but keep out of sight, hiding in the shadows. There are numerous terms used to describe these creatures, from sprites and goblins to pixies, elves, and even leprechauns. But in Central and South America, this very popular mythological creature is called a duende. duende. In Central and South American folklore, duendes are believed to be dangerous little creatures who have a particular dislike of children. Central American stories tell of duendes who live in the bedroom walls of young children and sneak out at night to harm or injure them in some way. In South America, duendes are said to lure young girls and boys into the forest, causing them to lose their way home. Dito sa atin, isang puti, duwending puti at duwending itim naman, di ba? Basically, duendes are considered to be little annoying creepers. This next video supposedly shows two children playing with a video camera and encountering a duende in their home. Ay, Christopher, ven nada más. Me estás retando. Sí, pues tú también. Fíjate, el baloncesto, ¿cómo se va a ver? Nahalpin duende se va a Te toca. Ya, para que veas como un experto lo hace bien. The Montauk Monsters. There's a strange phenomenon that takes place in Montauk, New York, a beach area that is located on the. Mahirap i-edit yan ngayon. Ngayon, no? Ah, dati, mahirap i-edit yan. Isa pa, isa pa. Ay, 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 ay. Ito ba yan? Ayan ba yan? Yan nga, no? Kifu, dónde está? Dónde está? Dónde está? No mandite. No, no. The Montauk Monsters. There's a strange phenomenon that takes place in Montauk, New York, a beach area that is located on the eastern end of Long Island. Basically, strange creatures seem to occasionally just wash up on the Montauk shore. The phenomenon has become so common that the creatures have been dubbed the Montauk Monsters. Conspiracy theorists have speculated that these strange creatures are actually escaped experiments from nearby Plum Island. Plum Island is home to the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, a laboratory that is run by Homeland Security and by all accounts was initially set up as a test center for U.S. biological weapons and for genetic testing on animals. His name was Eric Traub. We can find him in the depths of the National Archives and Record Administration where I found him. And he ran his own bio-warfare island in the Baltic. We brought him here after World War II and his idea was let's build a germ warfare island eventually. But the story becomes even more bizarre because for some strange reason all of the so-called Montauk monsters always seem to disappear before any scientific agency is able to perform testing on them to determine exactly what Uy. they are. Kalo, on the website MontaukMonster.com, a site devoted to chronicling these strange creatures, a user named Matt from Weathersfield, Connecticut reports seeing men in, quote, unusual uniforms showing up to collect one of the strange animal carcasses. So are these so-called Montauk monsters actually strange genetic mutants washed ashore from the Plum Island Research Facility? 
Or are they just random dead animals floating in the surf? Parang pinag-experimentan lang eh, no? Parang siyang baboy na mayroon pa. Parang ma matalim na ipin. Let me know what you think in the comments. The albino Bigfoot. So, what would the top list of mysterious creatures be without at least one Bigfoot sighting caught on tape? Well, no worries. I've got you covered with a pretty good one. The albino Bigfoot of Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Residents of Carbondale, Pennsylvania had reported hearing strange sounds and disturbances from the woods for several weeks. One night, a Carbondale resident began hearing loud, unidentifiable sounds coming from the wooded area surrounding his home. Determined to find the source of the sounds, he grabbed his video camera and headed into the When I first saw this footage, my immediate reaction was, okay, that's a guy in some kind of yeti or monkey mask. But when the footage is examined frame by frame, we can see what looks like the creature actually blinking when the flashlight hits its eyes. YouTube user Thinker Thunker has analyzed the footage and actually believes that not only can the creature be seen to blink, but the mouth can be seen to move as the creature reacts to being spotted. So what do you think? Does kung hindi mas kung maskara daw to, hindi daw biblink yung mata. Tama nga naman. So ibig sabihin, hindi walang maskara, bumblink yung mata eh. Face look real? Or is it just someone in a mask? Oh, bumblink eh. Totoo nga. The England Tree Fairy. So far in this video, we've covered goblins, monsters, and even Bigfoot. So now we're going to take a look at what might be the strangest of all strange videos. A supposed real fairy caught on video in England. In this video, a man is filming his kids playing in the backyard when he sees what he believes to be a strange insect in a nearby tree. He moves in for a closer look and is shocked by what he finds. There's a they all fallen. Some there, and some but there. most of them are on the floor. And oh, yeah. holes in them What's that? Well. Yeah. yeah look. What's what? Yeah. Yeah, look. Why up there? Insect or something. Is that an insect? Let's have a look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Totobe. Bakanama Totobe lang. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As you can see, when the video is slowed down, whatever this flying creature is, it appears to have legs and a somewhat humanoid form. So is this some strange insect? Is it a fairy? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? Let me know what you think in the comments. Haba ng paa, no? Totoo kaya yun. Parang pag luma talaga, ang hirap. Hindi mo ma-identify yun. Kasi parang, parang totoo, totoo na nandun sa video, eh, di ba? Kasi kung ngayon yan, mapapansin mo na. Pag kasi malinaw, mapapansin nyo na napinatong lang yung video. Or inedit. Pag ganito kalabo, hindi mo malaman kung peke o ano eh. Ang totoo lang kasi talaga, takot na takot na ako. Naunahan ako ng unang video eh. Guys, talaga. Shoutout lang konti kay Melrich Abregana. Shoutout sa'yo. Tapos shoutout din kay Carmelita Shubal. Uh, baby, uh, palagi kayo inaabangan shoutout mo sa akin. Baby Shubal Adonis. Shoutout sa'yo. At uh, shoutout. Shoutout kay Alexander Badillo. Di ba? Tapos shoutout kay Jersel Malazarte. At saka yun. So yun, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood na tanggang sumulit.